Hey guys, what's going on? I just finished this run and I fucking got 2 billion points. I have spent unimaginable number of hours testing various compositions, improving my gameplay, knowing the sweet spots, using data analysis to kind of figure out the math. And here in this video, I'm going to share you everything, like literally everything that I have learned over the past few days that we've been playing the guild boss. But before we do, I'd like to thank you guys for the support on the first video that we uploaded, as well as the second video that we uploaded. And if you think that that is already the best that we can achieve or do, with the amount of resources that we have, the limited advancements that we have. No, you know, some people are thinking that, oh, Mouse, you have A5 advancements, you have this, you have that. I'm gonna tell you guys just so you guys would know and be familiar in what's happening right now in the current meta of the game. There are a lot of people, even with like insane amount of progress, who are struggling to reach this. And that's okay because this thing is pretty new. We need to take some time to figure things out. And as a content creator, this is one of the things that I really enjoy doing is to really just share whatever uh, things or information that I'm able to learn and hope that it would somehow at least make your gaming experience at least slightly better so that you can enjoy the characters that you worked hard on so if it's your first time here if you haven't watched my first or second video then I highly recommend that you do so we're still gonna talk about the builds the composition and all the concepts but not as detailed as we did in our second videos so what you're seeing here is now Mirei at the top score with 779 million damage Alicia at 526 million Chahe in at 323 million. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are not using Chahe in here because it's hard, it's squishy, and seems like she's not dealing enough damage. But here in this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable her. And over here, we still have our secret weapon, Choi Jong In and Anna Ruiz. And by the way, I'm gonna tell you something that's really crucial as well so you gotta watch this and before we dive into it uh, just a quick favor please do like this video and uh, leave a comment if you can that would help this video uh, get pushed by the algorithm so that it will be shown to more people and that would help me and my channel grow and also that would help a lot of people who are looking for guides and looking to really perform better in the guild boss and also make sure that you subscribe because this is gonna be continuous Every single thing, every single change, meta change, we're gonna try to figure it out and I'm gonna share it with you guys. Now, let's go ahead and dive into it. I think I should register this, but um, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we reached to Bilan. Let's try to reach, let's try to get to Rage 8. But for now, let's uh, press the exit button. So, first, let's start with Genius Bill. We're still following the same concept. We're still using the Blessing Set. Again, guys, to those who are wondering, to those who are asking, Blessing Set has been updated in the recent patch so that you can activate it using an ultimate skill. It is only exclusive to the 8-piece set effect. So Jinwoo here is a support unit to boost the damage of his teammates. And for our weapon, Moonshadow will increase the damage taken, stop the time, and Grim will debuff the opponent so that they're gonna receive more elemental damage at A1. And we're still using our build that reduces the cooldown reduction so that we can spam Moonshadow, Shadow Steps, all the debuffs that we have so that there will be zero downtime on the debuffs towards the boss. And we also have our Vacuum Wave Armor Break here, increase damage taken by 10%, and of course our Ascension Break so that we can use more ult, so that we can activate our Blessing Set more consistently. We have our Reawakening, cooldown, and what the hell? I actually... And I'm not sure why the Pulverize is here. What, what the fuck was that? Um, Was it the presets? I think it was the presets, maybe. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I, I think this is I, I think it's the preset. So this is the preset that we're using, okay? <laughs> we use the swiftness, very important for the dashes to reposition and to get all those shadow steps, cooldown reduction, and, and bloodlust here, as well as we are one. We probably shouldn't have used this later. I will explain why. So anyway, I have updated the blessing set here to get a bit more attack, although it's still not the best one that I could do. It still helped anyway with a bit of damage because at that point, every single 5M, 10M is very, very important already. Now let's go ahead to the team composition. But before we do, come on guys, just click that like button. It would really help me a lot. So, so here it is. Hmm. 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 So we're going to talk about this one by one. So for our team A, melee feature is still the main support unit here. We have still the guardian set for consistent damage bonus when alicia uses her shield everyone's gonna receive it if alicia casts that even cha even melee we still also have our silk blessing for increased elemental weakness damage up to 15 percent for alicia we are using four piece curse four piece expert here's the stats i already re-optimized the stats we have 21.6k attack Critical hit damage at 180%. Defense penetration is 6.59%. Not really a priority here. We want damage increase more. We have water damage 10.54% here. And for Cha, this is the one I used. I'm not sure if this is better than expert set, but I don't have any expert set available anymore to test on this, which is why I use this artifact and I really have a good stats on this. I have uh, light damage here with attack plus 3%. And a lot of really good stats here from these skill levels i have improved it to 10 here and 10 here as well although probably i shouldn't have increased this because it increased the mana consumption as well and you will see later how chai in is struggling for mp as well so here are the stats 49 percent crit rate 21.6k attack crit damage at around 100 crit damage at around 180 percent damage increase defense penetration not a priority so in the scoreboard chai in the a lot of damage basically we all know melee feature is, is really good at buffing attack based teammates and at a3 of course if that helps with power gauge something that chahe in really would need so that she can cast her all better faster and more consistently and also that would help chahe in survive better with all this buff and aside from the damage and critical hit rate that would also help chahe in survive better with this buff so the trade-off that we did there was saw with a grid set but that's okay because chahe in not only that she can deal huge amounts of damage she also has that rounded debuff that will also help everyone with crit rate and crit damage all right so which means by putting cha there instead of getting squashed with a different party that doesn't have any support we were able to use her and unlock her potential so we're gonna go with team c first and we have our Mirei Amamiya. 2.5k mana is the sweet spot to get the 40% passive from her kit. We have crit rate here, very important because we need to do a lot of critical normal attacks here so that we can stack the expert sets that I'm currently using. Crit damage, death penetration, not a priority. Just go for damage increase and we have our win damage 7.75%. So everything here, the DPSs, the gears, I have optimized it. I've spent a lot of time on to optimize it for this skill levels 10 and 10 and here's what we're using now four piece curse and four piece expert really good really good you saw the damage 775 m i have some runs that have like 800 million damage so this thing really works attack is just 22k my curse set is around 26k or 25 point k attack my goodness the damage difference is just so huge okay just letting you guys know that so you guys can prepare your gears as well and we also have our jinjul here here are the stats Stats are nothing impressive. A lot of unoptimized things here. I don't plan to like fully optimize this guy. But but anyway, he still was able to deal pretty decent damage there. So yeah, just 8-piece grid set. And for Hansemi, we are still using the one-hit kill plus the Sylph Blessing. To those of you who are wondering, this one activates after you do your ultimate. Description of this is something that Netmarble will fix very very soon because it's already listed in the forum's issue notices. And again guys, this is crucial if you want to deal higher damage on guild boss. It was specifically made for that specific purpose. You, you kind of want to have this at longer duration because her skill cooldowns are very very long. And you kind of want to have more uptime on that. 
all right for team b we're still using the same setup with some adjustments on their artifacts that you're gonna see here so again the reason why we're using choi and anna ruiz is mainly for that defense decrease so for the guild boss as well as pod and many other and many other monsters here in this game the damage increase grows exponentially as you stack more and more of the defense decrease debuff that's stacking so right now shadow step still stacks with choice defense decrease debuff the bloodlust and stacks with anaruza's poison and quite possibly although i haven't tested the recent yunho buff on the white flame aside from that other similar icons of defense decrease will not stack with shadow step for the artifacts here we focused more on the survivability of Choi Jung In because that's what matters for him right now. Since he's still not at A5, he's not going to be able to deal damage no matter what we do. So instead, what we did is to just make him a support unit. Make sure that he's going to be able to inflict that defense decrease debuff until the end. And we have our Sylph Blessing here for more element damage increase. And for Ana Ruiz, we're still using the same thing so that she will be able to cast the poison almost immediately around 240 or 230 mark of the timer and for libora we fully transitioned her into somewhat a hybrid dps i transitioned her to the eight piece curse set just to kind of help out with damage these are some of my best curse gears here as you can see and we added some curse gears with hp so that she will be able to survive a few attacks again not only that she'll be able to deal a good amount of dps along with with the help as well of the moon shadow she'll be able to debuff the target with the increased damage taken debuff by a charm by 15 percent so pretty much it's still the same strategy we just had some adjustments and used chahi in enabled her in this lineup instead of using mono elements i still have quite a few compositions that would also work uh, almost similarly but that's gonna be it for another video so for now let's focus on this and let's move on to the gameplay so guys here to begin immediately press your ascension break to charge up your power gauge and then here ideally what you kind of want to do is to press your q and use your dash to cancel the animation and be able to cast that debuff along with getting the extreme evasion and then into the shadow step i didn't do it here but that's the ideal thing that you have to do and then after the moon shadow you cast your grim again dash cancel it so that you won't have to wait because jinwood doesn't have much damage anyway your priority is to be able to cast all your debuff immediately and here towards the end you can fish another shadow step then boom nice so our moon shadow is about to be ready but actually we use the ult beautiful opening so that's what we want to do here all right now the team a will get their blessing buff then into the moon shadow before he will cast that aoe swipe hand swipe so here once he does that um attack pattern you can get the first one and you can get the last one we're gonna see it later don't worry so Moon Shadow, just keep on spamming it. Ascension Break. So, kind of see here. So here, as you saw, we noticed that the aggro is going to Jinwoo. So you want to reposition yourself so that your team won't get hit. But unfortunately, one uh, of our <laughs> DPS got hit, Chahi in. But that's okay because she has a support unit. The one we want to avoid is for Libora and Choi Jong In and Anderwis to get hit because they don't have a support in their party. So that's really important. That's something that you kind of want to practice as well. Okay, here, immediately get that shadow step. Then just follow the boss. So 146 in, we already have 860 million damage. So there you go. Unfortunately, Ana Ruiz got hit there. Ult again for the blessings. There you go. And it's probably a hand swipe. No. So we use our moon shadow here. Discuss the debuff. Try to get the shadow steps from there. So you kind of want to always be at the front of the boss. Always have to be mindful of your positioning. He rarely does a consecutive mechanics like that. 
it's usually gonna be the hand swipe so be very very careful one of the targets here are the highest hp sometimes and sometimes it's jinwu and sometimes it's probably i don't know but another dps he's targeting them as well but most of the time that i'm seeing the aggro is gonna be at the highest hp unit there we we're able to break that really nice there Bam. we have 1.4 billion press tab open the hp bar check who's, who's dead <laughs> whoops oh my goodness clutch oh <laughs> did you see that that's a very clutch second skill golden meadow by hansemi <laughs> again guys field buffs work here oh my goodness beautiful execution there my hansemi <laughs> she was able to uh give the anti-fatal effect towards arrowies So here, another shadow step into the combination we want. 1.7 billion already at 23 seconds remaining. Chahi in and Alicia is struggling with mana. But still, they are still going to be able to do a couple of skills here to deal some damage. Well, most of the DPS doesn't have mana anymore. There you go. Oops. Nice. So yeah, we got 2 billion. So let me just find a few more shadow step moves that you can do. So this is the double shadow step. Always do this if you ever get a chance. So that mechanics. Always pay attention to that. Shadow step, moon shadow. And move immediately towards the front. And get another extreme evasion into another shadow step so always be on the lookout and be um ready to do that because that's really a huge game changer okay that's gonna be it for this video again guys if you like these types of content if you want to stay ahead if you want to learn more about the guild boss and be able to deal more damage so that you would get more rewards and avoid getting kicked by your guild hit that subscribe button hit that like button and see you on the next one